Good morning, Anoka. I'm Rickard. And I'm Sam, 40 years into the future, and now I like Weezer for some reason. Today's Tuesday, May 11th. Spectrum Club is meeting after school today in S102 for an afternoon of crafting. There will be tie-dye socks, friendship bracelets, and more. Hope to see you there. The speech team will be holding peace finding and writing sessions for next season starting today from 2.30 to 4.30 in L137. After this week, they will meet the following two Thursdays. This is for all returning members and any new students interested in joining the team next season. If you are interested in becoming a speechy, see Mr. Anderson or Ms. Jorgensen. Ms. Ward and Ms. Watson would also like to encourage everyone to come to L135 today for Tornado Tales Book Club. It's a great place to hang out and talk about your favorite books. For more information, check in with Ms. Ward or Ms. Watson. With the internet down, I should really go find that one book I bought that one time and finally read it. The Anoka Yearbook is available for order online now. Online sales will end May 14th. There will be a limited number of books for sale during distribution on a first-come, first-served basis. To guarantee you get a yearbook, order one now at jostens.com. The Anoka Royal Ambassador Program is back. To stay up to date with new information, please follow our Facebook at Anoka Halloween Royal Ambassador Program and Instagram at Anoka Ambassador. Come join us. Our first informational meeting will be held in the Anoka High School cafeteria on Monday, May 17th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. The Twisters Dance Team is holding a tryout prep clinic on Saturday, May 15th from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. It's $20 to attend and it's encouraged for new and upcoming dance team members. Additional information is available on our website. The official team tryouts will begin Monday, May 17th and run through Thursday, May 20th, 3.30 to 5.30 p.m. each day. Attention seniors, please com complete your final decision slash transcript survey by May 28th. All colleges require your final high school transcript as part of your enrollment. This form can be found in your school email. Scholarship night is being held on Tuesday, May 18th in the Fieldhouse at 7 p.m. Students who will be recognized, along with their parent, guardian, or guardian, have received an invitation via email. This event is for seniors who are receiving a scholarship from one of our community donors. Congratulations to those seniors. Now it's time for your weather forecast, and for that, let's send it out to the TV7 News Weather Center and Jacob. Thanks, Rickard. Another great day is shaping up with plenty of sunshine and a high of 61. Then a warm-up increases with tomorrow, also being sunny with a high of 67. Temps should, should stay in the upper 60s and low 70s throughout the rest of the week. Bottom line, it's going to be nice, Anoka, so get outside. That's your weather. I'm Jacob. Now back to Sam and Rickard. Thanks, Jacob. It's crunch time for the school year, and if you are someone who needs a little extra help finishing the year strong, then try Lighthouse. Lighthouse is offered virtually and in person this trimester on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 3 to 5 p.m. in rooms 28 and 29. Students will also need to bring their computer. Staff will be available both virtually and in person. The activity bus will be available for students at 5.20 p.m. Online driver's ed is available for any student who has not taken or passed driver's education and is interested in getting a permit. Class will be held from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. Monday through Friday from June 14th to June 25th. Class size is limited and students will be accepted on a first come first served basis. Registration is now open until May 28th. Please remember that all students must bring their charge Chromebooks along with their charger cord to school every day. There are no chargers available for students to borrow and our quantity of spare Chromebooks is limited. Anoka Seniors, there's still time to sign up for the Anoka Senior Party happening on June 8th to celebrate the end of your high school career. Celebrate with your class with the theme Exiting Off Route 21. What's your next stop? By wearing your senior t-shirts or something that represents your future plans. Go to anokaseniorparty.org and claim one of the limited spots today. It's time to check in on sports and activities, and for that, let's check in with our sports anchor of the day. Thanks, Sam. Girls lacrosse won in dramatic fashion last night in triple overtime. Despite being down too late, the girls rallied to tie and won in overtime. Congratulations, ladies. The boys lacrosse team also got a big win last night with a victory 9-3 over Rogers. Great win. They face Andover on Friday. 
The girls' softball team faces Champlin Park tonight at after school at home. The game is on QCTV. First pitch is at 4.30. The baseball team takes on Champlin Park as well under the lights. The game is at 7 p.m. at Castle Field. That's your look at sports. I'm Sam from the future. From another dimension. From the future from another dimension. Now back to Sam and Ruckert. Thanks, Joseph. Remember, if you missed anything, be sure to subscribe to the Anoka TV News Channel on YouTube. Today's lunch is cheese or pepperoni calzone. You are welcome, Anoka. Until next time, I'm still Sam, 40 years in the future. And I'm still Rickert, saying have a great day, Anoka.